Hey everybody, I'm going over there on the other side of this valley. There's a little piece of uh, chancery land, church owned land, previously church land. It's very grey, it's raining off and on, it's cold, but I'm going to do an hour or so and see what we find. Hopefully something good, might be a very short video. Moving on. And Tazzy, if you're watching, no point in walking everywhere when I can quad. Uh, the start of my voyage on the quad bike. A little bit rough in places. These things are always a lot of fun. Nothing like what Tazzy T does in, out in there. Uh, New Zealand or Tasmania <laughs> funny, I can't remember which um, Yeah, he's got a great channel, I'll put a link below and He does a lot of gold hunting and It's a bit like um, Gold Hunting Australia Josh, I can't remember his correct channel name either But both those guys have very cool channels, finding gold doing quad biking, off-roading, adventuring, all kinds of things. But I will see you guys in a bit. So my first target <laughs> is an 82. 82, 83. I'm wondering. You know, I did some research on maps an old drover's road that goes through this land but mm, it's right on the top there um, this is an orchard or was an orchard they've cleared a lot of the trees although you can see over there that there's still a lot of apple trees so I'm taking a look through um, in some areas on this land it's really hit and miss here with what, whether you're going to find something or not I suspect this is just trash yeah just a piece of aluminium lid off something so target number one a piece of rubbish Moving on. so I'm just by a very old barn mm, there's nothing to st stick my spade into uh, it is a very old barn. I'll show you the front of it. And if you can see those columns, the old stone columns, it's an amazing old structure. It's a beautiful building. Just having a quick look, it needs a lot of repair work. Just having a quick look around it. I've been around it with the cruiser, but there's so much iron here. And then I came across that, which is a totally shouting 84, 83. Not deep, but it's not a surprise because there's stone here underneath. I guess this was, may have been paved. Okay, I don't hold out much hope for this. See if we can get to it. The old pinpointer. Well, oh, okay. We might be onto a coin for our second target. At least I think it's my second target. I'm already losing track. Oh, it's a King Dave, I think. Crusty coin. We're very happy with that. It's probably a Georgian coin of some kind. Mm, don't know what I can make out on that. 
You know, I'll clean that up later and see if anything comes up. Cool. Second target. Moving on. Number three. Maybe four. Maybe four. Same signal as that last coin. But I'm maybe ten feet further on. Uh, still very stony ground, so whatever it is, could not go very deep. What do we have here? It's out. Stay there. Come on. Stay. Maybe it will stay. Hmm. Is it glove off time again. Is that a button? Yeah. No. Kind of. Looks like a sort of popper button. Yeah, okay. Nothing exciting, quite modern. Number three, moving on. Target number four. I've just come away a little bit from that building because there's so much iron there. And I flicked over to um, relic mode. That's my first signal, it's a 61. 57, 58 that way. Mm. Don't know what that would be. Nothing very good, I'm guessing. There's a little bit of iron in the ground here, but it's not that, you know, if you've got an area where it's totally full of iron, it's difficult to get on with the relic mode for me. Have a look. Where are you? I know you're in there somewhere. I should be. I think I've got to be out the way it's screaming. I can't see anything. You know, it's that moment when you want to see an edge or something like that. But... Okay, is this, which is, hmm. well, I don't know, it's a piece of lead, it's a kind of interesting piece of lead, okay, number four, lettuce, moving on, number five is a bit of a weird one, 90 and then over here 87 is it the same target let's have a look mm -hmm. oh, that's my speed it's picking up on Such a loud screamer, that can't be anything good, I don't think. It's got to be a piece of aluminium. Or, um, I don't know what that is actually. Oh. Okay. Now yeah, I'm a little bit off, so I think it actually is the same target. That's got to be trash. Possibly a piece of chicken wire or something like that. Yeah, it's difficult to. Okay. Sorry, guys, I lost you for a moment. 
Um, yeah, that gave me the runaround, but that's a very tiny target. I don't know if that's what that is. Is that signal? There's another signal in there. I don't know if that's um. I don't know what that is. I thought for a moment it could be a stair rod holder, but actually I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else in there. That's a very small target. Hmm. Got me curious. No. Nope. Okay, that's my shovel it's picking up on. That must have been it. Weird. Where are we? Target number five, number six. Uh oh. Done it again, haven't I? Um uh, let's call it number five. Eighty-nine ninety. Eighty-nine. Curious. What can that be? What is it? We you know what it is yet. I don't. Signal's changed. Perhaps I've knocked it. Have a look. Oh, saw something. Did I? I'm sure I did. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there. Sorry, guys. Up off that. Have a look what this is. Coin or button. It's going to be a modern coin. Oh, I'm quite happy with that, though. It's um, a threepence hexagonal shape with the uh, Scottish thistle on. Cool. And the coin. Always nice to find a coin on these 10 hole hunts, no matter what they are. Clean that up and we'll take a look at the date later. Move it on. Hi. It's not a stick, you can't play with that. Hello. Hi. Hey. Hey, Jane. One of the farm dogs. Such a beautiful evening. Wind is fast. Looks like there's a storm coming. I don't know if we're on number six or seven now. Totally lost track. 85. Let's call this number seven. Running out of time. It's gonna be dark soon. Oh, Moochoo. Muis Tubus Rex. Wonderful. Let's see the next. Number eight. Hopefully I'm gonna make these ten hole hump before it goes dark. It's a weird one, it's like zero one from one side, eighty-seven from the other. Stable eighty-seven. Oh, no four. Nice. Gotta dig it. It's probably trash, you know, iron mixed with something or other. Perhaps a horseshoe. Uh, oh look, what we've got. Out. 
very stable 87 now. Oh. Weird. Okay. Have to have a look with my pinpoint in a minute just to see where that signal. Ooh. That sounded like I was on something. Something big. Okay. Hmm. That's a stone. I don't think that's it. Okay. So it wasn't what I was touching. Oh, okay. What is that? It's a key. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's just rinse that off a little bit. Mm. It's gone. The barrel tap key. Very cool. Right. Get on with two more signals before it gets too dark. Hope you can still see something. Number nine. I don't know if I'll make ten. It's getting very dark. But we're nearly there. Maybe I just film one in the dark. Alright. Crash. Possible to know if it's cloud land, but the numbers aren't great. Um, I don't see it. That, that little thing there. Yeah. It's whatever that little thing is. Bird ring or something like that. Not sure what that is. Too dark. Okay. One more. Last target. We might just make it with a bit of light left. It's just screaming 86, 85. 90s. Gotta be rubbish. I guess. But, you don't know until you try. Weird. Am I off or did I get it out? Still in there. I'm deeper than I thought. We're out. 97. Just as the light is fading, see what my last target's going to be. Here's a bottle cap. <laughs> okay. Woo! Ending on a bottle cap. See you at the wrap up. A couple of interesting things, but nothing too amazing. Moving on. So it was a short wrap up to this one. Um, these were the best finds of the 10 hole hunt. This very crusty coin. Can't make anything. Uh, it's 
very difficult to make anything out on that. Don't think I'll ever know exactly what that is. I don't know what that is either, but something fairly modern, I would guess. Um, not sure. Barrel tap key. Very happy with that piece of history out in the fields. Amazing. Piece of lead and a coin, 1941, and it's a little threepence. I like finding these. Um, I'm not sure if that's the Welsh one. I think I thought it was the Scottish one when I found it, but um, I think it's the Welsh one. Yeah, nice coin. So yeah, two coins for the 10 hole hunt, which is always wonderful. And the barrel tap key, that's a, a really wonderful find. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching my video all the way to the end. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you on the next one. Moving on.